the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. In this video, we're going to talk about Andy on Solana. Sorry, it's the Chinese Andy on Solana. So it's Andy, A-N-D-E-I. I have talked about Andy on Ethereum on this channel. Um, uh, and uh, Andy on Ethereum uh, made people a lot of money, right? Made people a lot of money when everybody was talking about Andy on Blast or Andy on Solana or Andy on, you know, Base Chain or whatever. I said, Andy... On ETH only. You can go back and check the videos. Only Andy on ETH. That's sitting at a 258 million market cap at the time of recording this video. Probably going to go a lot higher. Okay, guys. But in this video, we're going to talk about Andy on Solana. And specifically, the Chinese Andy. So, it's A-N-D-E-I. And many of you, if you're active in crypto, right, you'll find that there's this new Chinese meta that's going on. You've got the Chinese Pepe, which just hit 100 million yesterday. And off the back of that, you're going to see a lot of these Chinese coins pump. Some of them will be absolute garbage. Some of them might be worth taking a risk on. This is one of them, like Sheena, Shina, Inu, that I, I may even, you know, because it came up and it's come down, this does look like a good entry. I actually saw this at 1 million yesterday. If I would have bought it, I would have made double my money already. More than double my money already, but I didn't buy it. And um, I'm just watching this one. Okay, guys. But um, that being said, we're talking about the Chinese specific meme coin market they're not necessarily made by chinese people <laughs> but um people are jumping on this new meta right one that i did buy was andy on solana uh the chinese andy on solana now andy of course is pepe's best friend right so you know pepe just like pepe has been pumping andy obviously it's a boys club token andy on ethereum pumped made people a lot of money, right? So the same way that Pepe is pumping on Ethereum, right? Uh, right now, with the whole uh, Chinese meta, this is a whole new meta. We see a lot of potential for these to pump a lot quicker, for example. You see Andy, it's only now it's sitting at 258 million, right? Pepe has only just launched, right? The Chinese Pepe on the 4th of June. So literally within five days, it's gone to 100 million, Okay. Does Andy on Solana, uh, you know, does it mirror that, right? Right now, we're sitting at 2 million. I got into this at about 800K, okay, guys? And, um, you know, specifically, the Boys Club tokens, okay? You saw me talk about Brett Gold the other day, right? Brett Gold, I got into this at 80K market cap. It's now sitting at 4.3 million, down from almost a 7 million market cap still holding this token right um so you know people are making a lot of money on meme coins i'm making a lot of money on meme coins and you know finding the ones that specifically have that narrative and have a strong community behind it right brett gold has a very strong community behind it go and check out my previous video but andy on solana has a very strong community behind it right 148 people in the voice chat currently and now obviously this has just launched so there is a lot of hype involved and it is very risky it could go down right but a two million market cap you know it, it's you know what is your risk to reward ratio okay guys if this goes to zero if you put in a thousand dollars and this goes to zero you lose a thousand dollars if you put in a thousand dollars and this goes to a hundred million market cap you make fifty thousand dollars at this particular at this particular market cap moment in time at the time of recording this video right so that's why i'm saying yo this could be a good play for you it's not financial advice all right guys now i did have some issues with my microphone actually in the previous video when we talked about brett gold many of you uh, left comments saying you couldn't hear my audio okay guys so i just wanted to address that quickly i may be having some microphone issues i'm not aware of it until the video is done and a lot of times i don't watch the videos back because I don't edit them much. In the beginning, when I first got into YouTube, I was editing my videos and taking out, you know, my arms and my ums and my ahs and all that sort of stuff and doing all of that. So if I, if I coughed or I sneeze, I would take it out. Now I just do it a lot more raw. So a lot of times I don't go back and listen to the video. Um, but it does look my mic. It does look like my microphone is working at the moment. But um, if it does cut out, sometimes it it might cut out until I get a new microphone. Obviously, didn't realize that it was a problem that I needed to solve until recently 
but um, yeah, ultimately, I have the Blue Yeti. It's a good microphone, but maybe it's had its days, been doing this thing for years. Maybe I need to get a new microphone or a new microphone lead or whatever. But um, yeah, just wanted to quickly address that. If you can't hear me, I mean, regardless, you can see the screen. It's not really super important what I'm saying about the meme coin, right? It's more important, do you think it's a good meme? And uh, you can see it on the screen. I leave the link in the description for the correct chart and so on so you don't get scammed. But ultimately, do your own research. Do you like the meme? That's what it comes down to. Is it a good market cap? Is it investable? Has it got a strong community? As long as you've got the ticker and the correct chart or whatever, right? You should be able to kind of work with that. So don't be too frustrated if you can't hear me. Uh, but ultimately, this is YouTube content. You should be able to hear, hear me, and I want to make sure that I correct that. But anyway, back to Andy, right? So Andy, I want to call it Andy, but I feel like I should say Andy. <laughs> like, the same with Pepe, Pepe or, Pe or Pepe, right? Um, but yeah, Andy, Andy, <laughs> I'm confusing myself. So Andy on Solana. Okay, guys, the chart is pumping at the moment. I'm on the 15-minute chart. I know you DJs like to look at the one-minute chart and the five-minute chart. Does that, look, does that look bullish? I've been holding it all through this, all through this drama, yeah? Um, but it's holding up pretty well, in my opinion, right? This looks like a bullish chart. The volume looks good. 3.94 million volume, 2.4k holders. Community is strong. And this thing is going up. A lot of people are calling it on Twitter as well. So it's looking good from where I'm standing. And I thought I would share this with you. And you, you, you may have noticed I'm not making videos every day right now, right? So I'm only sharing the stuff that I think is really has really strong potential. Because these meme coins are dangerous. I've lost probably hundreds of thousands of dollars over on Solana in bad meme coins, right? Um, yeah. Yeah, so so that that's that's how it goes sometimes in this game. Risk and reward. You gotta make sure you you're doing the right thing. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna leave it there. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. And um, yeah, Andy on Solana. Crypto lifesaver on Solana, flipping memes. Crypto lifesaver, he be farming with OPs. Crypto lifesaver, every day he got them plays. Oh, crypto lifesaver, yeah, crypto life. Oh, blockchain, blockchain, blockchain. Yeah, welcome to nowhere three. I'm a DJ in the game, and I don't even sleep. Got a piece of on Solana, I'm a eight. It's a meme, a hundred X or thousand X, regardless, I'm a G.